Okay then, the brand new Morita map is going live tomorrow for Battlefield 5. That's Tuesday 30th of July. And I've got some details regarding the update, what's going to happen, and some further information for content and activities that will be happening in August for Battlefield 5. Now just a quick reminder, it's been exactly two months to the day since the Mercury map launched for Battlefield 5, and during those two months we were supposed to see Al Sundan launch, but Unfortunately, still, due to some unresolved bugs, that map hasn't seen the light of day on larger modes like Conquest and Breakthrough. So it's been kind of another long wait for content in Battlefield 5, but that ends tomorrow. Marita is launching, and for fans of infantry gameplay, this is going to be a map that you will enjoy. Okay then, first of all, the patch activating Marita. Tomorrow morning at 9am British Summer Time, that's 10am Central European Standard Time, the update will begin first on PC, then PlayStation 4 at 10am BST, and finally Xbox One at 11am BST. The map itself will go live at 11am BST alongside the Xbox One update, so PC and PS4 players Presumably you're going to be able to jump in right away after the update has finished installing and for Xbox One players you'll be able to jump in right away after you're done. The update size for PC is around 300 meg and on Xbox One it's around 500 meg but for PlayStation 4 due to how Sony operates with their certification process the patch size at the moment isn't currently known. There is going to be a brand new playlist going live from 11am BST as well. It's going to be a Marita only 24-7 playlist. It's going to rotate through one round of Conquest and then two rounds of Breakthrough in a row and that's going to allow both teams to attack and defend before it moves back to a round of Conquest. Morita will also be added to the standard Conquest, Breakthrough and Team Deathmatch playlists as well, taking the map count up to 11 in the Conquest one, but if you are really looking to just play Morita tomorrow, which I'm sure is the majority of us out there, then just match make into the Morita only playlist, that will be in the multiplayer menu on the right hand side, and it's going to replace the Rush game mode, so yeah, Rush is going away. I'll talk about that later on in the video. Once the map is up and running and things are looking smooth after the patch, let's hope everything is going smoothly, DICE is going to activate two new elite soldiers in the armory. We have Ilsa Schattenwolf and Norman Kingsley. We've discussed these two before, they'll be available for presumably 990 boins apiece if you want to purchase them, but of course they are totally optional. Now, one small note that I will make here, and this may impact you when you first play the Marita map, Unfortunately, there is a bug with it at the moment, but it is very avoidable and I wanted to talk about it in this video so that you can instantly avoid it and it won't affect your gameplay experience. There are a few weapon skins in the game at the moment only on the Marita map that are causing some extra reflections when sunlight hits them and that causes some rather bright lighting on your screen. The issue only occurs when you aim down the sights of your weapon when you have more reflective weapon skins applied to the receiver slot in the customization menu. So weapons like Gold Plated, Mint, Damascus, White Tiger and a few more. Basically because they're already quite reflective and the lighting on Marita is quite substantial, right now a few of those skins are causing extra reflections when you aim down the sights. So to stop that happening, simply equip a non reflective weapon skin on the receiver part of your weapon or just revert it to default for the time being. It is a known issue, DICE know about it and it's likely to be fixed in one of the upcoming patches for Battlefield 5 but like I said even though it is a bug and it is disappointing it is relatively easy to avoid. I wanted to mention it here in this video because I think if you didn't know about this bug when the map first launches we would have a bunch of players blinded by sunlight reflection within the first few seconds of the match and that's just not good for anybody. So yeah, switch out your reflective skins for some other ones on the Marita map and you should be absolutely fine but it is what it is at this stage. It's, it's frustrating that it's another bug in the game but there's really not much you can do about it other than change your weapon skin. It's not a hard thing to do but it is yet another bug in Battlefield 5. Then, later on, once Marita has launched a little bit further into August and the map's been out for a while, DICE is going to change up the playlist for 24-7 Marita action. On August the 8th, 
32 player game modes are going to come in and they're going to replace the 64 player ones. So we're going to have Domination, Frontlines and TDM coming into the mix to provide some smaller scale action on the Marita map. The map will still be available to play on Conquest and Breakthrough, but you're going to have to use the dedicated Conquest and Breakthrough playlists from August the 8th to find the map, or you can use the server browser if you want to. At any point, if you're looking to try and jump into the Marita map, if you don't want to use matchmaking and you want to use the server browser, Marita is going to fall into the rotation after Arras on Conquest and after Devastation on Breakthrough. So if you like using the server browser, join Arras Conquest or Devastation Breakthrough servers. So once that round ends, you can have a full round on the Marita map. And then after that, later on in August even further, the Fortress and Grind game modes are going to return to Battlefield 5. These have both been adjusted and changed from the last time that we saw them, and they're going to be thrown back into the mix as limited time game modes once again, so that players can have a taste of that sweet meat grinder experience on the road up to Operation Underground's launch in October. Most of the changes to these game modes have been based on community feedback from their first showing, very much the same as the changes to Rush came from the community as well, which is something I think is really awesome to see. Sometimes the community does know best. Doesn't really happen very often, but sometimes we do know, and who doesn't love an ego boost when they're told they're right? Community, you did a good job here. And then today, so skipping all the way back to before the Marita map launches, 29th of July, it's the last day to play Rush before it's once again removed from Battlefield 5, despite it now being a great game mode that's looking quite popular at the moment. I'm not really sure why DICE is taking it away when they've spent a good amount of time, a couple of months, improving things from the last time we saw it. It does seem like a little bit of an odd decision. I mean, I think there's a sizable chunk of players in the community that dislike the structure that Grand Operations currently provides, and they would like to see that game mode improve, so why doesn't DICE disable Grand Operations and leave Rush active whilst they work to improve Grand Operations? Or maybe they could just roll Grand Operations back to what it was in Battlefield 1, because to me that was just way better than what we've got at the moment. I don't know, it just seems a little bit silly to remove a game mode that, after community feedback and changes, is now quite liked, which is the Rush game mode, but continue to host a game mode that's been widely criticised since launch and isn't anywhere near as good as it was in Battlefield 1, Grand Operations. Just seems a bit silly to me. And then finally, we've got a word on future updates. Community manager Adam Freeman, he left a small note on the Battlefield forums about what's been happening recently. We're pleased to see that there are less instances of the invisible soldier issue, though we want to reduce this back down to a flat zero as soon as we're able to. Over the next few weeks, I'll be working with the teams to identify and talk to you all some more about what else to expect in our 4.4 update and bring you back more information about Al Sundan on Conquest. Getting content out to you in a healthy state remains an important priority for us and as soon as I know more, I'll be back to talk with you all about it. I've got to say, it is nice to hear some positive words coming from our community manager for Battlefield 5, and honestly, it is nice to be talking about Battlefield 5 in a more positive tone at the moment. I am, of course, quite an optimistic guy, I think that's fairly obvious. I don't like making content that has to highlight issue after issue. I don't like making videos that point out clear problems with the way the game is being handled. I just don't find that enjoyable. I don't like feeding off that negativity. It makes me feel negative when I have to make those videos, but that's my job. I am a Battlefield content creator. I commentate about what's happening with the game, and I need to cover this stuff because I need to highlight those points and bring them to the forefront if needs be. But of course, I like making more positive videos. So to have Marita launching tomorrow, the Invisible Soldiers almost completely fixed, and being closer to the launch, for the Aus and Dan map, that is great news for the game, and I hope that we can continue upwards from this point. Lord knows Battlefield 5 needs a little bit of luck at the moment. 
So then, there we go. That's what's happening with the Marita map. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section, whether you're happy, excited, whether it's not really a map for you. Let me know what you're thinking. And tomorrow, I will be back with some fresh new gameplay of the map, not this recycled footage that you've been watching since EA Play. Don't worry, I know that you've seen it like five times now, but tomorrow, the gameplay will be brand new. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for that brand new gameplay.